Hello everyone. Today's episode, we're gonna talk about dog food. Uh, is it a good idea to change your dog diet? How often to do it? Why? What to look for in a food when you choose it? Uh, introducing your dog to the human food. How to do it? Why that's important? And uh, stay with me until the end because in the end we're gonna spend a few minutes talking about uh, dog toys, how to choose the, roi- the right toy for those dogs so they can be safe and have fun. All right. And for those of you who are watching me for the first time, uh, this is my two devils. The big one is uh, Mocha. Awaskan Mawamut. Awaskan Mawamut lady. Over a year old. And the small guy right there. Uh, that's a midnight. He's a Siberian husky. Only four months old so far. So let's start. Why is it a good idea to change your dog food time to time? Because the same as us, they're getting their nutrition from the food. So feeding them the same food over and over again, you cannot expect different nutrition to go to their body. You cannot expect different results from that food. How often to change their food is actually depends from them. Before I make that decision, I am uh, watching my dog's behavior. Do they enjoy the food? How their uh, skin look like? How their coat look like? Do they have uh, energy to play? And based on all those things, I'm making a decision. Is it time uh, to change their food? When I'm choosing my dog's food, there's a few things I'm looking for. First, to be with uh, natural ingredients as much as possible. And uh, second, to don't have any corn or corn products in it. When you decide to change your dog's food, make it smart. And by that I mean mix the old food with the new food for a couple of days. And each day, increase the amount of the new food. This way, your dog is going to have very smooth transition. And the chance to have a diarrhea or any other stomach problem is less luckily. Another way to make your uh, dog's diet more diverse and more fun is by introducing them to a human food. And I think this is very important to do it as soon as you can. I did that with my dogs when they were puppies for a few reasons. First, like I already said, make their diet more diverse, more fun. They really enjoy actually human food. And the most important reason for me is to teach them to don't touch any food left in the house, either on a coffee table, dining table, kitchen counter, or while you're eating and you have to step out for the room for a second or go to the bathroom. You don't have to freak out that the dog is going to come and steal your food and move it every time. Uh, so let me show you what I mean. All right, let me show you that when I go away from the table, Mocha, which is right here next to my food, she's not gonna touch my dinner at all. Okay, let's start. see us now she doesn't know where we went right let's see what she's got let's see her so you see even if i'm not there she's not gonna touch my food because she knows that i'm the alpha and i have to eat first and I have to give her a permission to eat from my food or I have to share my food with her, but not before I eat, okay? Like you can see, Mocha is not touching my food. 
even if I'm not there because she knows that I'm the alpha and I have to give her a permission and I have to share my food with her in order she to have it but first I have to eat these dogs the Alaskan Malamutes and the Siberian Huskies they're pack animals and uh, each pack has alpha so they know that alpha eating first it's very important uh, to make that message clear when you teach them that that they are not allowed to have any food without your permission and before you finish eating that's the most important thing don't share food with them before you start eating or during your eating no you have to do that when you finish this way you're gonna teach them that you first eat and with only your permission after you finish they can have some of your food that's the most important thing you need to uh, you need to teach them uh, another thing uh, which uh, <laughs> happened to me and let me give you a tip before it happened to you is don't share human food with them or give them something you cook for them before they eat their dog food uh, the reason for that is they're gonna think that okay they're changing my food again this food is so good i don't have to eat my dog food anymore so it will happen the, the, the next day they might wait all day long for you to give them something you know and not eat at all uh, and uh, that's why it's important when you share food with them to be something like a dessert with them for them or mix it with their dog food so they know that in order they to have something they have to first finish their dog food and something extra is gonna be like a dessert not like a main course if i can say that <laughs> If not, it's going to take you a few days to break that bad habit from them. Mocha, midnight. Come on, guys. You want some of my food? Do you want some of my food? Do you want some of my food? <laughs> Do you want some of my food? I think that's everything I wanted to tell you about food. Let's talk a little bit about dog toys. Those breeds, the Malamut and the Husky, they have very sharp and a strong teeth and uh, pretty much my dogs <laughs> destroyed each toy I give them for a couple of hours to a couple of days depends how much they're interested in a toy when they're puppies you can give them pretty much everything you want to play with because their teeth is still developing so the chance for them to hurt themselves with the toy it's almost none but uh, after a certain age I would say you have to be very careful when you choose a toy because outside on the market it's a lot of toys with uh, mechanical parts screws some other moving stuff inside making noises and uh, all that kind of stuff and uh, why I'm saying that is uh, uh, while they're playing with it they might take it apart, they might swallow some screw or some other part from the toy and uh, be a big health issue with, for them. And for you, because you might have to go to the hospital, you might have to go to the emergency room. So you be careful when you're choosing a toy for them. Thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think of the video in the comments below. And uh, subscribe to my channel so you can see our future videos and what these devils are up to see you next time